Yes, and okay, here we are. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is uh, trafficwebliv.net. It is Wednesday afternoon, and this is the time we spend with the founders, co-founders, actually two of the three co-founders of the Traffic Authority, uh, Doug, checking in from the Atlanta area, and Greg is at the home office in Tallahassee. The format here is for anybody who may have a question or a comment, raise your hand, okay? You raise your hand, and what we're going to do is bring you out onto the platform, meaning that we'll be able to see you and the entire world will be able to see you, and then you can ask a question or make a suggestion on what's going on. Now, if you're listening to our daily radio broadcast every single weekday live at 11 a.m., we're talking about the process, we're talking about the progress we're making as we move through the summer months into uh, Traffic Authority 2.0, and uh, so make sure that you're showing up there, and if you're showing up, like I told you this morning, I said, take your time, go through the systems, go through the back office, and, and if you have a question or a comment or a suggestion, this is the opportunity for you to get that done. So you raise your hand and I'm gonna bring you out. We do have somebody already, Lewis in Maine, uh, Massachusetts, I'm sorry, Lewis in Massachusetts. You guys, do any of you guys wanna say anything, Greg or Doug, before we roll here? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh my uh, gosh, man. Yeah, just uh, make sure you are here. Every Wednesday, we're uh -huh. here. You guys be here. Get your teams out here, okay? Bring people to this uh, this forum. This is a great forum. Um, I'm sure Josh would be here, but we got Josh. Like he he's so busy doing like a, a pot pile of stuff right now. It's it's amazing. Um, but Joe, yeah, uh, this is turning out to be an amazing platform for us. Mm -hmm. and I'm really glad that we uh, we are zooming it, okay? I think mm -hmm. Carl's going to have to build us a little uh, – uh, 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 well, he's got a banner back there for the Q&A. We've got the founders call now. And, Joe, I don't think we actually announced the next founders call, but that's going to be uh, August, uh, the first Saturday in August, which is what we talked about. Correct. In, in our pre-pre-meetings that we had. Mm -hmm. So August 5th is actually that date, the first Come Saturday on. in August. And then going forward will be first Saturday of the month going forward every month after that. That's correct. I'm a little squeezed on time here, thinking all four of us are showing up here. Well, know. we got a lot to cover here today. We do have Lewis. He's raised his hand. Anybody else, if you want to get in the queue, just raise your hand on your – you can raise – there's a mechanism to raise your hand. Oh, we got uh, Dale Lands raised her hand, and we'll go uh, in, in – we'll go in the order in which people raise their hand. We're going to start with you, Lewis. Lewis, you're being elevated to the platform right now. And – ta-da. Where are you, Lewis? There he is. All right, Louis, you're off mute. How are you today? Okay, Joe, how are you? I'm good. Say hi to Doug and Greg. Uh, my question is about the overview. When you first come into the website for new members, is there going to be any changes to that? Man, it is amazing. I, I really, I'm pretty sure that we must have like live video in the in the, the corporate <laughs> office. And that's actually one of the reasons why Josh is not here today. Uh, but to answer your question, Lewis, yeah, we're working on um, redesigning the seven steps as we speak. The seven steps has been the introduction, you know, for the last, you know, probably nine months or a year. And we're redoing that in a way that um, we are uh, certain that people will get started uh, basically uh, based on the path that they're going to be following. And we talked a little bit on last Wednesday's call, um, but, you know, we have our groups of traffic authority people that, um, you know, start in different areas. Some have a lot of resources, a lot of experience, big lists. We've got a path for them. We have others with lower resources, less experience, um, and we've got a path for them. And so in the training, we're going to basically be pointing people in the direction that's going to get them uh, to where they want to go the very fastest. And it's not a, it's not a one size fits all. You know, it is specifically going to be uh, what's going to help people the most going forward. So that that's pretty much what you'll be seeing. We hope in the next two weeks we'll actually have that up and going. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate you showing up here today. I'm going to uh, drop you back down gently. Gently, I'm going to drop you back down into the attendee area. Um, Dale Land, you're going to be next. I'll be pulling Dale Land from, uh, from, from Los Angeles out here. Anybody else who may have a question or a comment, Go and find your, uh, I'm looking at my, my, my thing right now. I can't really see where you raise your hand, but 
you know where it is. We have enough people who have raised their hands here. So if you have a question or a comment, please raise your hand. That was a very good uh, question you had there, my friend Lewis. All right, Dale Ann, you're coming up next. Hello. There she is. Hey, Dale Ann, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, Joe. How are you? I'm good. I can't see you. Do you have your camera on? You know, I, I had it on. I don't know what happened. It was on a second ago. That's okay. I'll just ask my question anyway. Um, my question would be, what is the purpose, the purpose of the API number? You know, when we get, we had to list the API number for get response. Oh, you mean the key? The, oh, the oh, API key, right. Yeah. Um, th the reason for that is, is we have a preset uh, arranged slot of autoresponders back there. And when you put that API key in, it just dumps into your system all the autoresponders with your information on it. That's what that's, what that's about. Oh, that's, I was always wondering about that because I wasn't quite sure how, how it worked. So um, thank you for that information. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dale Ann. I'm going to drop you back down into the uh, into the attendee mode here. Anybody else? You know, uh, we do have some stuff coming up that's very, very important. If you do have a question or a comment, please raise your hand. I want to thank both of you who already done that. Lewis, thank you very much, and, and Dale Ann. But, you know, this last Saturday when we were on the Founders Call, we talked about live events, and we talked about the necessity for live events and how what a critical component they are in building a long-term business. So I, I, I want to visit that topic again. I know that we have talked about this in the past. I know, Greg, uh, you are an individual who has experienced live events for years. I met you at a live event. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts? You know, what are you thinking as we move forward into the new traffic authority uh, with a live event? You know, what, what, what's your vision and your view of a live event for our community? Well, to be honest, Joe, super excited about it. We've been talking about it you know what, for more than two years, mm -hmm. everyone you and I were sitting in my office in Arizona uh, mm -hmm. back when you first come on board with us. And, you know, the, the truth of the matter is that, you know, we've been in the process of, you know, um, creating a foundation for traffic authority. Um, that foundation is here now. It's very solid. Uh, and what we're going to be doing now is simply adding things to it and the events and I know I'm supposed to be a little quiet about this, but everyone knows you let me out on a call. I'm the root <laughs> of the grapevine. So along with some Super Saturdays, will also be some large ticket, high ticket commissional events following with that as well. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, we want to be providing that value. Um, you know, we want to be getting out with the members, you know, and talking about what's working today. And that's what those events are meant to do because the internet is moving fast, Joe. I mean, some of the strategies, you know, you and I talked about two years ago are different uh, today than they were then. In fact, some of the stuff we're researching right now, there's, you know, some very, very cool brand new tools that we're actually testing this minute, you know, that we're hoping we can get programmed and get working for members um, because it's literally brand new cutting edge. And at events, one of the things that happens, and this is just, you know, something we've learned from the events we've gone to, um, you know, even outside of network marketing, just, you know, internet marketing um, in general, it's amazing what you learn from people attending events. It's always, it's not always just the event holders. Um, it's bringing that group of people together. Uh, and it's amazing the synergy that happens. And so, you know, we're looking super forward to that. And I know Doug has been a big proponent of the events as well, so I'm sure he's got much to, uh, to add to this. Mr. Wellens, what do you say? Um, you know, I'll continue to say that when it comes to events, some of the best times of my life were created at events. Okay. E even... Even today, when Greg and I go off to, uh, you know, to New York or San Diego or San Francisco to some of the industry events that we go to, to meet um, industry vendors, we have a great time. We meet people, we network, we learn new information. Um, it's, it's so valuable. It really is. And you know what? It's good for the soul too, right? So um, on top of the fact that, like Greg just mentioned a minute ago, there will be an opportunity to make a pile of money, okay, commissionable events. 
um, yeah, um, you're going to have fun too. So we, we really want to put the fun in the middle of this opportunity. And the real way to do that, not just to meet here on all these Zooms every week or daily calls. I mean, just going to a call and being able to go, oh my gosh, new banana or, or re, I've been hearing you forever. Now I get to hug you, you know, and we get to sit around and kumbaya, right? It's, it's just fun stuff. Man. It really is. Yeah, it is a blast. And one of the things you guys have just mentioned a couple of times is a commissionable events. And, and, and what that means, if you guys are wondering what you mean by a commissional event, uh, commissional event, what I'm talking about is uh, uh, the opportunity for you to actually have the event as a product that you can sell to people in your sales organization with serious commissions. So it's not just, you know, buying a ticket and attending the event and learning some stuff and doing the networking and the meetings after the meetings, but it's a very serious income stream that will have a qualification attached. So you can make some serious money on the live events. And people love live events. They love live events. I've been in a live event business for a long time. Um, and they're awesome. Okay, Karen, there she is. Newbie Nana has a question. I'm going to promote you up here. Karen Kruger, come on out. Ta-da. There she is. I mean, good afternoon. Hey, Karen, how are you? Driving, I see. Yeah, I'm pulling. I'm in the car. I'm a little bit late, so I'm going to pull over here. Uh, I missed the very first. I don't know if we're on a certain topic, but I do have a question. Um, it's about, I've got this dream. I'm on a project now where I want to reawaken uh, the excitement of traffic authority for the people who are on the team They've been quiet. Either they've dropped out or they still pay every month, but they don't do anything. So I'm going to write a series of copy to approach them and put a stick of dynamite <laughs> under them. Do you have any strategies, any advice for how to do that or what to say? Outside of the obvious, we all know we have to keep inviting them, but they still don't come. So I want to get these people fired up. They're missing out. And I That's got about re-engagement. That's re-engagement. That's what the, Greg has been talking about, re-engaging existing customers and people who have come through. It's one of their favorite topics of conversation, I think, around your neighborhood there, Greg Chambers. Is that, do you have any recommendations for, for newbie Nana here about re-engaging her group? Yeah, I sure do. In fact, just so you know, uh, that's exactly what we're building right now. In fact, if you're in the process of putting together your list already and you're already preparing, um, you could just uh, say that you are uh, slightly ahead of the game, which is no surprise, of course, um, being the leader you are. Um, but that's exactly what we're doing right now. We are creating some autoresponder series as well as some very new and distinct things that literally did not exist before. And just so you understand, um, you know, we are in, I keep using this, this, this word today, we're in the process, we're becoming, and, you know, we're actually, one of the things, you know, you're going to hear from Josh a lot, and I love his term, it's called a day, uh, a day one company, meaning we're innovating, writing new things all the time. But some of the things we're doing right now, I mean, are, they're big. I mean, they're not just um, subtle changes. We are adding some generational bonuses into the comp plan that did not exist before. Um, those are going to basically, when you're talking to people, and as far as re-engagement goes, people like the idea of more money. Commissional events, buyer's program, and those things all sound really nice, but you know what now the real foundation is going to be? Um, uh, I should say Karen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I we're, love that name. We're, we're becoming family <laughs> here on the, on the, on the Zoom. Um, but you know, what we're really, you know, what we're really moving to is more important than just these other big things. We're creating training that's going to change people's lives. We're going to go from having one or two calls a week, like we've done, you know, for, you know, things I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I mean, Joe does his call five times a week, which is awesome. He's been the, the backbone. We're going to support Joe with additional calls, probably many of them in prime time, you know, cause we know we've got a lot of, of part timers. Um, you know, uh, and also along with that, we're going to actually have video, you know, training to really give people nuts and bolts. We want to let people know step-by-step step what to do, uh, going forward and traffic authority again, 
when we, when Doug and I were literally, you know, thinking about this idea, when you have to understand, for the longest time, for four years, Doug and I sold um, click traffic retail. So we were retail traffic sales, and that's really been our mindset as we've kind of moved along and we're, you know, now in traffic authority, we understand we're affiliate marketers, we're network marketers, we're expanding our thinking. And that's why we brought in people like Josh, you know, true seven figure network marketer, people that understand, you know, the training in network marketing. If you want to learn about traffic, you talk to Greg, you want to, you know, learn about sales and running a business, you talk to Doug. But for the network marketing components, we're going to get really serious about training network marketers. We want professional network marketers to come to Traffic Authority first. This is going to be the place where professional network marketers come or people who aspire to be professional network marketers. And along with that, and don't get me started, I'm just thinking this, this <laughs> foundation training we're talking about, Karen, it's so big because you know, as we're attracting professional mark, network marketers and, and helping people who want to be, we're going to also be tracking much more closely and recognizing people who achieve rank. When someone hits one star going forward, it's going to be a freaking celebration. You're going to hear about it big time. People go one, two, three star. That's a big, big deal. That ascension is very, very critical. And we've taken it for granted, you know, because the fact of the matter is, even though Doug and I, we have network marketing backgrounds um, of being successful network marketers, we, we didn't necessarily think about how important the recognition parts were. And, you know, basically building these, these very building blocks that help people from day one to, you know, beyond to the steps to be taking and recognizing those people and helping them get started, you know, towards those goals right out of the gate. So, and with that, I, I, I need to turn this over to Doug and Josh, because I mean, they're equally excited about what's coming and the re-engagement. I'm going to tell you, Karen, it's going to be easy because there's so much great stuff here. Um, re-engaging people is going to be just inviting them back to check out what we've got now. So give us a couple of weeks. We're going to have a webinar that's going to speak right to this. And Doug and Josh, please take it away because I know you guys have more information on that. Thank you. You're welcome, Karen. Karen, yeah. my, only, my only suggestion, Karen, in lighting uh, in, in putting uh, big sticks of dynamites out there to get them <laughs> lit up, my only suggestion there is long fuses. I recommend long fuses anytime you're using dynamite. Um, actually, uh, you're dynamite and you're doing a great job. I would suggest um, when you're re-engaging with those people, one of the best attraction marketing strategies that I've been able to use over the years is simply sharing with people what you learned or what happened that day or that event. So, you know, an email might actually be a personalized email that you send to them, something like, you know, hey, John, uh, you know, this is Karen. I uh, just wanted to share with you some of the things that are really happening over at Traffic Authority. By the way, I was on a call and I just learned this the other day, that type of thing. So that's what I would suggest uh, is just uh, continuing to reinforce the messaging that corporate is sending out because a personalized email from you is much more likely to, to get to their inbox and actually be open and actually be read. Thank you, Josh. I want to thank you very much. Somebody just walked into my office. Everything okay there? So I just want to quickly say hello to uh, John and uh, Lynn. These are some new people. Mikhail, I've heard you on the radio show a couple times. I uh, want to also say uh, uh, hello to Angela and Brian. These are brand new people that uh, Floyd, Floyd Robinson, who uh, came kind of out of nowhere and is suddenly doing tremendously well in our contests. Incidentally, we have a brand new contest going to be starting very soon in the final stages, putting together some new books and some new titles for the, for the daily giveaways. A uh, lot of new people here showing up. I want to welcome all of you and remind you that uh, this is your opportunity to meet with and have a discussion with the founders. If you have a question, you have a comment, and I urge you, we're going to be here every Wednesday. So, you know, keep a notepad handy. As you're experiencing your traffic authority business, be aware of what's going on and what you're thinking about and take notes. So you can come here every single Wednesday and you can participate in the call. Um, very, very cool opportunity we have here. Um, so I'm waiting. Anybody else who may want to make a comment or ask a question? All you got to do is uh, raise your hand in the queue. Uh, also want to say quickly, I don't know if you guys would know this or not, but Ree Sutton is here, and she became a grandmother today, this morning, she announced on the radio show. So again, Ree, I want to say congratulations to you and to your family. And uh, hey, Josh, how you doing, man? Uh, so I got a question. 
fantastic. Yeah, go ahead. I, well, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, your, uh, your recruiting call, black belt, you know, very, very yeah. aggressive. I, I know the style. I, I really know I've experienced it in the past. So what are your thoughts on that? And, and do you have any kind of a, of a timeline is really what I'm, I'm getting at here because quite frankly, I am been given the, the uh, responsibility by Greg Chambers to recreate our calendar. So people will have a click calendar where they can go and they can see every single one of our events, including the event coming up in January. Okay. Every event will be there with telephone numbers, topics, links. Uh, so I'm looking to buff out that calendar with your, with your, uh, your black belt call. When do you, when do you think it's going to be coming up and let us know what it's going to be like? Well, today's Wednesday. Um, I am anticipating in 10, 11 days from today's date, we're going to have a brand new webinar. And this webinar is really designed for any of our current members to be able to use with other network marketers. Now, we have additional funnels and marketing and things coming, but right now, they're the fastest opportunity for anyone watching this Zoom webinar to actually go out and, and in, you know increase their rank, earn rank, um, actually go in and, and actually grow their business, start making more money, would be to share traffic authority with other networkers. That would be the number one thing that I would suggest that they do. So the very first webinar, Joe, that I'm going to be doing is actually designed to introduce traffic authority as the missing link, so to speak, to any network marketer, any network marketer out there that, that wants to make more money in their current primary or passion business, any network marketer who wants more leads, wants legitimate traffic, wants to know how to really uh, get more results. Well, they need to be over here at traffic authority because they need the tools, the training, the traffic that we offer offer, right, so that they can grow their business. So this first webinar, Joe, is really designed to, to go out and, and share it with a network marketer and help that person understand the benefits of becoming a traffic authority customer and actually going out and sharing traffic authority. There's obviously a tremendous number of benefits specifically for that. Immediately following that, Joe, the following Friday after I get that webinar released, we're going to start doing um, the Black Belt recruiting calls. On Fridays, those calls will take place on Fridays, you're thinking? They're going to take place on Friday. So worst case scenario, Joe, it'll be two Fridays from this Friday. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'm excited to see that. I'm really, really excited about that. I know what the black belt marketing calls can do. I know what they're capable of producing. So we're excited. Anybody else? If you do have a Gary, I saw that you, you want to come out here, Gary, and ask your question or anybody else. Um, Mark, Mikhail. Mikhail, you're pretty active on the radio show lately. Maybe you want to come out and uh, raise your hand. Anybody have a question or a comment? Now is your chance until we reconvene uh, next week. Hey, Joe, I got a quick question for you, buddy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I'm very new to this platform, right? I've seen other platforms and I've seen platforms where you could literally have 15, 20, 40 people on the screen simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Does this platform allow that to happen? Yeah, it does. Oh, does it? Yeah, so, we, uh, we can we fill can, this whole thing up with every single person here. We can elevate and you'd have them all here. You'd have everybody on the platform at one time. And they wouldn't necessarily be talking uh, unless you untalk to them or unmute them. Or how, right. That, that's okay. absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. I, was just, I was just curious, you know, mm -hmm. just in case we wanted to specifically call anybody out, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. But again, once again, and I, you know, before you got here, I don't know if you were here, Greg, but, uh, and, uh, and, and Josh, I was on a Zoom hangout today, and I elevated a guy to the platform, and he had no shirt on. <laughs> literally, he literally was sitting there, and then he went like this, you know, because I was like, make sure you have your shirt on. People think I'm kidding, right? You, the whole world can see you. Uh, it's an epidemic, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better no shirt than no pants. That's what I said to the guy. <laughs> I said to the guy today. Well, I mean, it's really kind of cool for the four of us because we can see each other simultaneously, you know, while – but I would just like if we if we just like opened it up for everybody, you know, to see everybody and everybody can see everybody. I think that'd be kind of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. We can do that. There you go. Okay, everybody, <laughs> make sure you got your shirts on. <laughs> and and I love I love how Karen I love how Karen was mobile. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean Karen's living her life. She's on the phone on this Zoom somewhere's probably you know. In Arizona, I think that's where Karen's from. That, that's, mm -hmm. that's cool stuff, you know? You don't always have to do it at the desk. C Curtis is probably on the ninth hole right now, you know? <laughs> well, well, actually, I said to Curtis earlier today, he was on the radio show. He said, well, I might be running late, so I'm not sure. I've got something to do. And I said, dude, all you got to do is get your cell phone, and you can download an app. Zoom. Th there you go. Has a, Karen's, has a, got her hand, got a, Karen's got her hand up again. 
I know she just can't get enough. Let's give it. Let's come. All right. Oop. My my Alexa just thought I was talking to her. Come on out here, Karen. You're back. Is she still in the car? I I see. I'm I'm. No, I'm at home. I'm home. Um, I have a question about a friend in traffic authority. Uh, you know, we all go through financial things, and she, for personal reasons, she has not been able to pay her just recently. And I, I know she wouldn't be able. I need to be encouraging her to get back on the calls and keep engaging. Correct? She, even if you, we have, we're not able to do that payment that month or whatever. We still can stay engaged. Is that correct? Yes, the calls are a free, the, the calls are a free platform. Anybody in the world who has an internet connection okay. or a telephone is free to join us. Uh, we have streams. This right now, you know, if you have someone who's uh, actually considering, let's say for example, you have someone who's considering joining our community. Well, what a better way to demonstrate the kind of transparency and connectivity we have here. You know, every Wednesday afternoon, you can come well, and get, help, you know, and so, and so, yeah, well, I get, I get that, mm -hmm. but this is a member who had to stop paying dues and she's feeling like she's not worthy to come back and just listen or talk on the radio show. That's totally incorrect, isn't it? Yeah, it is incorrect. Absolutely. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, get him, get him okay, back Okay, I will get her back. <laughs> and, I will. And, and, and at the risk of sounding cocky. I would tell her to stop buying Starbucks and just pay for her membership here. Because when I talk to people, you know, sometimes people will say to me, well, I don't have any money. I can't get started. I say, well, are you talking to me on a cell phone right now? They said, yes, I am. Well, how are you paying the cell phone bill if you don't have any money? Did you get in your car today? Did you go, to the, did you go and pick up some donuts this morning? You Really, you did? Well, apparently you have money. It's just where are you going to allocate that money? And I, I, at the risk of sounding, you know, like, like glib, but, you know, I absolutely – know what it's like to not have money you know Please. i gotta speak up to this too karen because you know this is again you know one of the things that we're talking about in some of this very foundational training um you know that at the end of the day this is a business you know a lot of people don't look at their home businesses as businesses and part of it has you know been since like the the 90s and early 2000s people don't talk as much about you know, if you're working a day job today and you start a home-based business, what you're getting in your own tax savings from your W-2 uh, wages, if you're filling out your tax forms properly, you should be saving right there what it's costing you. Um, and we probably need some more discussion about that being legitimate. I'm not a tax person. I'm not about to give tax advice. But I will say this, that, you know, again, when you look at it from that perspective and then the other part we're training where – you literally only need two people who each have two for your subscriptions to be free. You know, at some point we've, we as leaders have to give responsibility to our members and we're going to hear about this on the black belt call um, for sure, because you know, what we're going to be doing is we're going to get real, you know, we're going to get more serious and all I'm going to say, and someone who's done this professionally for over 20 years, if you can't get two people who have two, you have to really wonder if you're in the right business. Because I mean, it's just not that hard. If you can't do that in 90 days, you've got to reevaluate what you're doing. You got to say, I must be taking this like a, um, I must be taking this sort of like a, a hobby or, you know, like it's a game. It's not a game, it's a business. And I mean, you get those two who have two, you're free. If you don't, guess what? You're paying. Um, you know, th those are the things. Now, why stop there? Once you continue far past that, but you know, at some point, we have got to get real with numbers. Anyone that would tell me they're dropping out because they can't pay their, their subscriptions, I mean, I would just say, seriously, you can't get two people? You got to get off your seat, my friend, and get to work. And we're going to be much more helpful in those areas about, you know, exactly where you go to find them. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop there. But, uh, again, you know, I, I really do believe – Inviting people for free is the wrong is, is the wrong idea. This is not a this is not a charity. It's a business, and you know, the the people that treat it that way, and you think in that same way. Oh yeah, there's no value here. People should be able to come for free. 
they're wasting your time. They're wasting their own time. They're certainly wasting our time. Um, you know, like I say, at some point, you really do have to make a decision. You're either attracting winners and leaders, or you're attracting people who are not serious. That person, you have to question them about whether they're serious. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm running into one's parade, uh, but again, I'm just keeping it real. And Josh, I don't know if you want anything to that. Yeah, the only thing I would add is that, you know, I mean, like you, Greg, I mean, I'm not a CPA, I'm not an accountant, I'm not qualified to give any tax or legal advice. But I, I one of the things that I always do when I personally sponsor someone is I sit down with them and, and I do mention that if they talk to a qualified tax professional and that they should, um, and they should talk to one who will answer the question more than just a passing way, right? Don't just like throw out an offhanded comment. Oh, I did some internet thing. Do I get a write off? No, you need to sit down and have a very specific question with your certified and qualified tax professional and say, Hey, look, I've started a business at home and I'd like to make sure that I'm documenting all of my expenses accurately so that I maximize, um, you know, my tax position. And if you train your downline to actually ask their tax professional that way, a lot of times they're really surprised in the benefits that they are going to be qualified for from a tax perspective because the government incentivizes entrepreneurs. I mean, without entrepreneurs, we wouldn't have the U.S. economy. Um, and I know in Canada and in other countries, it may be slightly different. So my answer may not be you know, exactly accurate for that. But one of the additional things that I would say is, is that my real goal with this very next webinar, Joe, so to, to answer the question you had brought up a moment ago about the Black Belt Recruiting, before we can have the Black Belt Recruiting I want to put together a webinar that would allow any member, even if they have virtually no advertising or no advertising budget at all, they're a qualified member here at Traffic Authority, they're an active member, I want to create a webinar that they can share with other networkers. I'm going to show them where to find networkers, I'm going to show them how they can do the legwork, and ultimately it just comes down to one thing in business. You either have more time uh, or you have more money. And so for those that don't have money, they have more time, I'm going to show them what they can do to actually go out and find these networkers without having any out-of-pocket costs get them in front of this webinar so that other networkers who are actively looking for what we do and what we offer can find traffic authority and that's the best way to help them start making money you know one of the things that's been uh, coming up for me lately in conversations I've had um, with people networkers non-networkers is uh, what has gone on here in our environment network marketing has been around forever going all the way back to the beginning of time quite frankly and then, you know, the onset of multi-level marketing, probably it was in the 60s or 70s, you know, the Amways and stuff. And, and all these, and, and it's, what has happened is, you know, network marketing kind of had a reputation, right? It's like, uh, you know, it's, it's quick, it's fast money, you know, you know, all this discussions that have gone on. And quite frankly, what has happened in my opinion, and say certainly in the last decade, certainly even more so in the last five years, is the legitimacy of network marketing and the requirement, the need for network marketing in the marketplace. So many people are coming from unrelated fields. We got millions of baby boomers who are young at heart. They've got a lot of vision for themselves and they have to make money. Okay. And there are no J-O-Bs left in the market. So what are they going to do? This is the alternative. Network marketing is more valid than it has ever been. However, it is something that is, it's serious. It's a real business. This is not get rich quick. Okay, some people think, well, this is get rich quick. We see it all the time. They sign up 30 days, 45, 60 days, they're not making money. Then they don't pay their subscriptions. You know, Karen, they, they just say, well, I can't, I can't afford this right now because they're trying to get rich quick. Now, you can make money fast. Making money fast and getting rich quick are two separate conversations. Okay, like people that. coming in. Yeah, it's true. People come in and it's like, I want to get rich quick. And this is what happens. This is why attrition, the lifespan of a, of a distributor is like 90 days. People are in here for 90 days. If they're not seeing results in 90 days, they're gone. What if they were serving a real apprenticeship? You know, what if they wanted to become a beautician or a plumber or a carpenter? In 90 days, they're not going to acquire the skill set. So people are coming in here, and this is our responsibility, I think, is to make sure that people are aware of the fact that you can make money fast. You know, you can get to work, and you can invest, and you can take it seriously and show up to every single call, and you can make money fast. But you're not in a get-rich-quick get situation. And I think more than ever, our industry, what we do, and it does have a bad rap, but I think more than ever, it is really, really vital and it's important and it has a real major, major piece, a real, a real place in society right now, Karen. And, and so like the person who's, you know, that you started this conversation with about a person who can't afford, they probably can't afford it. They just didn't get rich quick. So it's like, it's not a priority. And if they show up for free, they're going to probably be, 
you know, snoozing in the background anyway. But I don't mean to be mean or aggressive, but that's the reality of the situation. Hey, Joe. Yes, sir. I, I got to jump out here and, and, and throw my two cents in also. Just coming from a place of experience. And it's a story, as we all know, facts tell, stories sell. It's a story that I, I tell a lot of the time that actually happened at the place where I met you 12 years ago. And in those days, um, the all in, okay, the all in at that company was just under $22,000 to be all in, okay? And we would have a business overview call and we would drive people to a business overview call and they would, you know, get off the call after 30 minutes after hearing Joe and it was amazing. And, uh, you know, it was $1,495 to get in. And we'd do a quick little three-way, and it was either you're in or you're out. Simple as that. Well, five, ten days into that business, we would sit down, and we would do what was called a business plan call. And we would show people. We would demonstrate with them. They'd pull out a pen and paper, you know, a pad and paper, and we'd write some stuff down. And uh, we'd do it together virtually over the phone. We'd go through and sit an hour, two hours long, however long it took, so people could really understand how the business worked. You see, there were people on that business overview call that were making 40, 50, 60, 80, 100,000 plus dollars a month. And I scratched my head when I had my business plan call because the sponsor that I, uh, I was involved with, um, he asked me this question. He says, hey, Doug, you know, you were at the business overview call. And you know it cost $1,495 to come into the business and it was a $1,000 commission. Do you think that I made $75,000 last month? Do you think I sold 75 of those packages? I didn't know what to say, you know? But that wasn't the case because there were some larger ticket, uh, you know, products. But here's the point. When I got around to doing my own business overview calls, I met all sorts of people. I met people that understood it and got it instantaneously and would get in, get involved, roll up their sleeves and start making the bigger money. And then I met some other people that for whatever reason, they would scratch their head. They wouldn't get it on that very three-way call, whatever it was, or that business plan call. And they they'd hang up after saying, Doug, we just don't have any money. We can't do this business. And listen to this though. This is where it really gets interesting. By seven o'clock that next morning, they would wake me up and somehow miraculously, they found the money under the mattress. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to meet all kinds in this industry, right? And it's just about getting to not a pressure point, um, but it's just about getting to that, that clarity and that certainty of why that person wants to do it. And when you can figure that out, well, then it all comes to fruition for you, all right? So money's never really the reason. Anybody can find money. You have a job. You're employed. You know, you think in your mind you're broke until you're driving on the highway that afternoon. Your car breaks down. Your engine's kaput. You tow your car to the mechanic, and he says, I need $5,000 for a brand new engine. But what are you going to do? You're going to find the money right? So it really boils down to the D word, the decision, right? The decision. So first you make the decision. First you get somebody to make that decision and the rest of it comes automatically. I can assure you of that. So Re, what's up, gorgeous? Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Hello, You're awesome. Everybody. I'm I was going to be quiet. I'm totally exhausted. Thank you, Joe, for shouting out about my grandson. Um, the one thing I wanted to say is this, Doug. I go totally along with what you're saying. There are so many people that get into this, and the value that I have had out of Traffic Authority is being able to do what Eric Worre said you have to be educated to be in the network marketing business or an MLM. The biggest mistake people get into is they get into it thinking they're going to make a lot of money because their upline signed them up telling them they were going to do that. 
and just go sign people up. Just go sign bull, you know what? <laughs> that is not the way it is. You have got to have a list. You have got to capture that list and you've got to develop a rapport with that list. And what you do is you take hold of the coattails of people that are making money, not people that are going to be there for the, exactly what you said, 90 days or less. And you don't want people that say, well, I ain't got any money. I ain't got any money. I can't do this. Or the next question is, what it, how can I get my money back? If somebody tells me now that how can I get my money back next, I don't want to talk to them. It's fine with me if that's their mindset. I don't have time to develop a relationship with them because probably 90% of it, they're not going to change their mindset anyway. So what you're trying to do is find people that really want, want to change their mindset and get them on what we're doing in traffic authority, which is wonderful, the personal development part, because I promise if you don't do that personal development and understand what we're talking about, you're not going to get there from here. It just isn't going to work. But if you only do the personal development and you don't connect with the people, you don't build your list and you don't connect with them and you don't follow up with them, they're not going to sign up. If you don't get them to turn into money, it ain't working either. <laughs> I mean, you know, oh, great. I'm happy to have a lead. But if that lead doesn't convert at some point to money, I've failed. I mean, I may have given them something, but my whole thing is, if I give value to people, they come back to me. And if I try to make it for me, I, it's gone. And it's not, just go sign people up where you don't worry about it. How I got up with you guys is through Vincent Ortega. And I watched him in a company I was in go from zero to 29th in the company in six weeks. And it was on the board. He wasn't out blasting that he had done it. I was watching the money. And I said, how is he doing? I thought he was doing something illegal. He was not <laughs> doing anything illegal. He had a list. And he put it out there and he wasn't pressuring anybody. And so I got to you guys through him trying to brand me. And I may be a bad brand, but I can guarantee you one thing. If you're on my team, I'm trying to help you. I want you to win worse than I want me to win. And Traffic Authority has helped me do that. And I appreciate everything you guys have done. And I'm here, and I'm here continuously with it because that's the value I get out of this. And I love seeing what y'all are doing from here on. It, the call Saturday, I didn't get on it during the call, but I did listen to it. And sometimes I, I'm not on the calls. So I try to be on them, but I try to listen to them if I haven't. So I am, I'm excited about where we're headed with this. And the Traffic Academy, I've said many times, is, is one of my favorite things. And I love the contest because the contest makes me get into habits that cause me to promote everything I do. It goes across the board, everything I do. And I don't expect anybody to want to do everything I do. But I love everything I do. And I want to promote it. And honestly, it's just really funny. It started here. And it's really funny how I can put it on the, on the thing now. And in 10 out of like 14 things I'm promoting, I am making every month a hundred, this is after expenses, a hundred to two thousand dollars a month. Thank y'all. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. I, I, I just want to, I, I have to say this. Um, Re, that is what you call a drop the mic moment. Right? <laughs> you drop the microphone, you walk off stage. If we have that recorded, we're done, guys. That, that was awesome. Re, you are my hero. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. I, love you, Greg. I love you, Greg. I love you, Joe. I'm, I'm, listen, I love the community. I want everybody in the community, but 
it's just really hard to get some people to understand that you can't divide it. You've got to take it all the way through and you've got to do the personal development, but you've got to connect with those people and you've got to bring them on. And that, that's what I've learned. And um, thank you. You're welcome, Marie. And you make my job easy because you're there pretty much every single day. You're probably one of the most, if not the most consistent contributor. Every single day you have something to share. And for the people right now, there's a whole bunch of people. We have a good attendance here today. Many of the people here are new. They have never come on a radio show or come out on something like this. And Ree, I remember two years ago when you were very shy. I remember your very first video that you ever did and posted. And you you were reluctant and coming out on the radio show. And now you have blossomed into this full-time powerhouse network marketer. But it began, everyone has a first step, Right. Everybody took that first step. I remember when you took that first step. And I share that with all of these people, Angela, Brian, uh, there's someone here by the name of Lynn who pressed one or, you know, put her hand up and then put it back down. So I just want to, I want to remind everybody that this forum is like, we're a community. There's no biting here, no biting allowed. And this is a great way to, to cut your teeth, if you will, or take that first step. And I remember when you took that first step, Re, and now you're living in the magic kingdom. The magic kingdom is make a grand in commission. And so congratulations in and welcome. Day, in a day, I've and had it, five of those. I love a, it. That's a not bad, a thousand dollar day, make a grand in commission. Re, congratulations again on your new grandson and, and to, the, and to your, your family at large. Another Tar Heel fan. Okay, look at that. We're growing okay. the Tar Heel fan base one at a time. Let's go Tar Heels. There we are. Thank you, Re. I'm going to drop you back into the. Uh, into the attendee role. Thank you. That's Ree Sutton, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing, amazing. Anybody else? We're almost done here. We like to allocate an hour for these times. If anybody else would like to make a comment, ask a question, all you got to do is raise your hand. Doesn't look as though uh, we have any more. Well, I want to do thank the people who did show up. Thank you very much, Lewis and Newbie Nana Karen. She's another. If you guys remember, she was called Newbie Nana. I remember the first time in the original launch, when she came out, she's like, newbie Nana. I'm brand new. That's why she's newbie Nana. Thank you very much, newbie Nana, for coming out here today. So that's it. We don't have anybody else who put their hands up in the air. We do come together live every weekday morning where you can come and have your voice be heard, and we do some training. This morning, we had a good time. We talked about the slight edge. We talked about some cool stuff. Make sure that you show up. In the meantime, gentlemen, boys, we've got a lot going on here. We should get back to work. I know that Josh is cranking. He's working on some stuff behind the scenes. Greg, so happy to see you back in the fold here. I love it when you show up. Doug, as well. We'll see you guys, man. See you around, as, they, as we used to say in Oak Park, see you around the mall, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>